That shooting is causing school officials all over to review their school security protocols, but some here in Northwest Ohio are taking a different tactic. Fox Toledo's Kevin Milligan is live in the newsroom with how schools have learned some lessons. Some schools are getting more savvy about a gunman getting in thanks to Secret Service research and the Virginia Tech shooting a few years ago. While many campuses go into lockdown mode, others now are learning it's better to get out and get away. If a shooter ever showed up at Perrysburg High School or somewhere else, a Secret Service study shows the gunman likely plotted and planned the attack in advance. But don't look for a lockdown. At Virginia Tech, students in locked classrooms became easy targets. Bottom line is get staff and students out of harm's way. It's from busting a window and, and climbing out to, you know, going on the announcements and saying, you know, we have an intruder in this hallway. The thinking is a gunman could do little harm if there's no one around to hurt. But if students are pinned down, educators now are allowed to get aggressive. We want staff to feel comfortable to, to actively resist and, and, and survive. And that's something that has been a departure. That might mean throwing a book or pop can, mess up his aim, get the gunman off his game, and get away. But preventing a shooting is a best practice. Students are very in tune to when there might be something going on. And, and really having a, a climate where students are comfortable sharing that information with an adult, that, that is our best line of defense. Even police are more likely to go in and take down a gunman in a school situation. Educators met with Perrysburg's police chief last summer to talk school security. As a result, some of those protocols and procedures are evolving. Live in the newsroom, Kevin Milliken, Fox Toledo News.